What is going on, everybody? I am Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. I am so glad that you are with me today because we're talking about apps for the iPad Mini 6. Now, if you're like me and you love the size and portability of this device, but you're really having trouble finding apps that accentuate those features, you are in the right place because I'm going to talk about apps that make the iPad Mini worth it, and they really play into using this device. Now, if that sounds like it's something for you, let's get started. All the apps I talk about in today's video will be linked in the video description below. And today's video will be actually broken out into different sections covering productivity, creativity, and really just for fun or entertainment. For full transparency, I've either paid for the app or the subscription to the app myself, and none of this content is sponsored. Now on that note, I would like to make this a recurring series for you. So if you wanna see my favorite apps ongoing on a monthly basis, let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about what my thought process is about how I determine whether this app is going to stay on my device permanently. I download and try a lot of different apps. Some of those apps are free. Some of those apps have a cost component, whether it's a one-time purchase or whether it's a recurring purchase. And when I look for an app, I'm looking for to excel and really take away the friction with one part of my workflow, whatever that may be. Now, since I'm using my iPad mini, this device is always with me. And if I'm at home, I'm carrying it with me from room to room. If I'm out and about, it's going in my day bag and I'm carrying it with me there. So I'm using this as a proxy device to my iPhone. Now, if I can find an app that can simplify my workflow and get me or net me more free time to do something else or to do another task, that is right up my alley. That's what I like to see. Now, first up is gonna be Craft for the iPad. This is really one of my favorite apps that I've really gotten into over the past four or five months. Craft is a cross-platform document management application that's available for the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and it even has a web component that's gonna be available in beta right now. Now, if you're like me, you might wanna use Craft if you ever want to create like a repository for anything that you'd wanna reference later on, such as notes, best practices, operating procedures. This is the app you should definitely consider checking out. I use this really as a single source of truth for everything that I do in my personal and professional life. Now the top three features are gonna be first, it is highly flexible, allowing you to structure your content in a number of different ways, including something that resemble a wiki. Second, you can create backlinks to any existing documents or existing blocks that you have inside of your library. And third, it supports integration with several different apps like Drafts and OmniFocus while also supporting sharing and collaboration. As for how much it costs, it is free to download. There is a free plan that gives you limited functionality with how much information that you could store in there. And there's a paid subscription that is $44.99 per year. Now, next up is gonna be an app that I use for brainstorming, for collection, organizing, and it's MindNote. Now, I am a very visual thinker, as I mentioned in my 90-day review of the iPad Pro. And I really use MindNote as a way to document ideas and then flesh them out in such a way where it makes sense to me. Now, my node works well on the iPad mini one because the iPad mini is just so small, but two, because it supports the Apple Pencil, you can write in with my node, you can use the Apple Pencil to organize, and it really just feels natural using it on this device. Now, in terms of how much it costs, it is $2.49 per month for the subscription, or you can pay annually and it's $20 a month. I think where it excels is gonna be the widgets that, that you can put on your home screen. For instance, uh, I have a widget here on the home screen which is gonna show me all of my different mind maps and I can have quick links into those mind maps if I wanted to edit one or even create a new one. My node for this device really is, again, it makes sense because of the size, the portability, and the form factor. Now, the next app we are gonna talk through is gonna be Notion. Notion is a cross-platform app as well and it's in the same vein that Craft is where it's a document management system but you can use it for so much, so much more than just document management. You can create databases, you can have relational, relationship databases, or relational databases, excuse me, where between things that you reference inside of one different content. I use it to keep track of all of the different videos that I put in here, both just here on YouTube, but also from Instagram, and then also uh, for my podcast as well. So it really is very, very robust, and I am only scratching the surface. But what makes it so great on the iPad, again, is because of the size of the iPad and the way that you can interact with the content. Now here, what I can tell you is that there are uh, several different plans that are available. It is certainly free to try. If you wanna get more storage, uh, there's a plan that starts I think at four bucks a month when you do annual subscription. And then they have other plans where you can do monthly subscription as well. But it is very, very robust. I will link to Thomas Frankly's uh, YouTube channel where he really goes in depth. Uh, that's where I found this app. And I suggest if you wanna learn more about that, that is where I would start. Now we're gonna shift gears from productivity. We're gonna go into creativity. And the first app I wanna talk about in creativity is gonna be Pixel Cut. Pixel Cut is a subscription app. It is $59 a year, so it is not necessarily cheap. But really what Pixel Cut does so effectively is it able to remove backgrounds from any photo with a swipe. And when I tell you it is really good, it's really good. Now I'm using this as a replacement 
for two different products. I'm using it for one for a replacement of this feature inside of Photoshop, and then two, I'm using it for a replacement of this feature inside of Clipping Magic, which is a web service. The web service itself costs $3.99 a month. So when you look at that, you know, at 12 months, when you pay monthly, it's about $45 a year. So this is a little bit more expensive, but it is very, very good. And it's an app. And they also have some branding tools that are in there. So if you wanted to make either thumbnails or you want to make content for Instagram, this would be an app that I would choose here for it. It is available both on your iPad natively and your iPhone. And let's do one live right now. I'm gonna go into Pixel Cut. Now, let me know if you're like me and you like writing with your Apple Pencil in all these different places. I really think this was a great feature. And I'm gonna choose my Nintendo Switch here. And where all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide to remove background. It removed the background. It's pretty damn impressive. And you look here, it actually removed the background pretty easily. So it does work really well. You can export it to Instagram. You can export it to you can even do Shopify. That's interesting. But Pixel Cut for the iPad and the iPhone, it is $59 per year. Not necessarily cheap, but it does have a lot of value because it works so quickly. Here you can do it within a matter of seconds. So it's money well spent in my opinion. If you have a different app that you're using that costs less, let me know down in the comments below. But next we're gonna talk about Pastel. And Pastel is an app that's available cross-platform as well. But Pastel allows you to identify different color palettes and save those colors for later use. So let's just say I wanted to make a graphic and I wanted to use these colors in here. So what I would do, I create a new palette. Uh, I would name it something, it wouldn't matter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo and it's gonna allow me to use or identify all the colors that are in this photo and it identifies all the colors that are in this uh, color palette very easily. And then you could say, okay, I'm gonna accept this. And it gives a listing of what the colors are. It tells you what their color code is. So I could then use this palette in another graphic, like the graphic that I'm showing you right here on the screen right now. I use this all the time. I take pictures of shirts, take pictures of clothing, I take pictures of skateboards, uh, and I really use it uh, really as a way to be creative and capture what those color palettes are because there's so many different color palettes that look good together. And, you know, it's just a way of capturing them and using them for later use. And this is Pastel, it's $5.99 on the App Store. Now, next up, we are going to talk about Just Press Record. Now, this is a sleeper app, in my opinion. Just Press Record is available on all your devices, and it really is a voice notes, but it's much, much more than that because it does transcription. So here, I have a widget on my home screen for Just Press Record. I'm gonna hit it here on my home screen and it's gonna open up here. And now along the bottom, there's some buttons. I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna say, hi, this is Mike. Welcome to Tech 24 7 TV. It's glad to have you back here. Today we're talking about apps and we are talking about just press record. So now it recorded the audio and not only did it record the audio, it transcribed the audio using the Siri natural language and you could play it, you could send the recording, you could send the transcript, you could send the transcript and the recording. And it's available, again, on all your devices. Where I think it really wins out here is that I can use this for idea dump out of my brain. If I don't have my iPad mini, I can activate it on my Apple Watch and it will stay active for, I think the timeout is gonna be 60 seconds, where on Siri, it's like 30 seconds. So you can really talk as much as you want and then you still have that timeout period, but just press record. It is $2.99 for that app. And I think this app has got a great amount of utility in it. I use it, again, for my for my notes. Well, another way I use it is that I like to record audio notes to my wife while we're putting my son to sleep. We're telling him a story and he'll kind of just babble on. It's really cute. And it stores in iCloud, so depending on how much iCloud storage you have, these notes really don't take up that much space. Again, this is just a really great app, and I do use it a lot for recording. Just press record, $2.99 on the App Store, and it's available on all of your devices. Now, we're going to shift gears from creativity, and we're going to talk about just for fun or entertainment apps. First app we're going to talk about is Paprika, and Paprika is a recipe management system. So you can see the theme here. A lot of things talking about management of documents, management of information, because that's really what I'm big on. In terms of recipe management, Paprika is a way to organize and collect and tag recipes that you have and to give you really the instructions how to cook that. Now, I'm not a great cook. I do need to follow instructions, why I imagine like most people do. I don't have these recipes just kind of coming out of my ears like my mom does. Paprika shows me what I need to cook for a specific recipe, all the ingredients, the measurements for those ingredients, and it will go ahead and outline the instructions in a linear fashion so it's very easy to follow. Now, Paprika is $2.99 and it shows that it's a universal app on the App Store. I purchased this a very, very long time ago 
Um, it's gotta be at least five or six years ago and I've been using it ever since. And what's cool is that you also have a, a web clipping functionality where if you were to find a recipe online, you can clip the ingredients and then put them in there. If you wanna cook something, you can create a schedule or a planner. And then once you have that planner, you can add those ingredients to a grocery list. And then when you go to the grocery store, you can see that on the list, it works really well. Paprika on the iPad mini is great because while you're cooking, you know, you could show this in split screen. You could maybe watch a video on it if the video was available for that. It's just a really good size and I think it's a really good form factor for this type of information, especially during this time of the year when you have family because the holidays, everyone's coming over. You can store drink recipes in here, good stuff. Now this next app that we're gonna talk about is gonna be for those of you who either have either Hue bulbs or LifeX bulbs and you wanna level up your lighting game because this is serious. This is really next level stuff. Now this app is called OnSwitch and it's available for all your different devices. It's not available for the Mac. And it is an app that will allow you not only to obviously set colors or set themes for rooms or for locations, but you can also set dynamic scenes and those dynamic scenes can be tied to music provided by the OnSwitch app. But what I wanna do here is show you what it looks like in action. Let's go to the other room. All right, so we are in my living room where my Christmas tree is. Now you can see there that that bulb over there, that's just, st uh, that's just static. And the bulbs on that side as well are static. Now I'm gonna go into the on switch app and I'm gonna choose Christmas and now I'm gonna say Santa's jukebox and you can see that the lights are changing based on what's on here. Now this is gonna rotate these lights That was pretty cool. Now at $35, this certainly is not for everyone. One, because you have to have LifeX or Hue bulbs, which are certainly not cheap by any means. And you have to pay on top for this app. Now there's many different plans that are available within the OnSwitch app, not necessarily just the $35 plan. That gives you access to all the scenes and they always do add new scenes, whether it's sports related themes for games that are going on or their football, their holiday scenes. So there's a wide selection of stuff. I at least suggest checking it out because it is pretty cool. Now, hopefully you were able to glean something from today's video, and if you were, I wanna know what it is down in the comments below. Now, I have another video coming out very soon regarding some cases and some accessories for the iPad Mini 6, so make sure you are subscribed if you wanna see that. My name is Mike, this is Tech 24 7 TV. Folks, it was great seeing you again today. I'll talk to you in the next one.